Paano kunin ang sum and product at roots ng mas mabilis? Tarot pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at mag Hi everyone! Welcome sa last natin yung araw. So for today, we're going to discuss about solving the sum and product of the roots. So eto mabilis na, shortcut na ito kasi nga, we've derived already kung ano nga ba yung formula na gagamitin natin kapag kukuhanin si sum and si product of the roots. Alright, so let's get started. Let me give you the formulas na nakuha natin last time. Eto, kapag pinapahanap yung sum, ng roots natin, that is negative b over a. Kapag pinapahanap naman yung product of the roots, that's c over a. So, gagamitin natin to para mag-solve ng sum and products. So, take note of these formulas. Ayan. So, let's start. So, given this problem, what is the sum and the product of roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0? So, ayan. So, dito, kung iisipin natin, Ganito yung long cut. Ganito yung long process. So, solve mo muna yung roots, yung x sub 1 tapos x sub 2, gamit yung, let's say, factoring, quadratic, uh, trinomial para masolve yung roots niyan. Tapos, after mong isolve yung roots, saka mo ipa-plus, saka mo ipa-multiply. So, di ba? Long process yon While, dun sa na-establish natin na pattern, na formula, mas madali yung makuha kasi gamit lang natin yung coefficients, kaya natin makuha yung sum and product of the roots. And yun ang gagawin natin for today. Ito yun. <coughs> right? The given x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0, then since sa sum and products, kailangan natin yung coefficients, so kailangan alam mo sa si ABC. Right? So since ito naman ay naka-standard form na, may, uh, may three terms na sa left, so okay na yan. So, ang A natin ay 1, si tabi na x squared. Ang B natin ay yung 6, positive 6. Ang C natin ay positive 8. Take note lagi dun sa sign. Ayan, so 1, 6, and 8 ang A, B, and C natin. Then, let's have the solution. So, sa solution, gamitin natin yung formula. So, formula ni sum tapos formula ni product. So, si sum, that's negative B over A. Si product, that's C over Okay, so i-substitute mo lang, tapos makukuha na natin yung sum without us getting the roots na ng quadratic equation na yan. So let's do this. So for the sum, substitute natin yung b sa kayong a. Don't forget b is negative. Ayan. So negative or minus, 6 ang b tapos 1 ang a. So correct. Tapos simplifying kapag over 1 na yan, ang fraction natin, automatic pa naman ang tanggalin yan. Ayan, so that is negative 6. So, ito na ngayon ang sum. As simple as that. Ito naman yung product. So, sa product, substitute natin ulit yung C naman. C is 8 tapos over 1. So, same idea. Since ang fraction natin ay over 1 na, pwede mo nang tanggay din yan. So, that, the product now is equal to 8. Ayan. So, that is now the final answer. Ganun lang po kasimple. So, ito yung long process. Yan to siya. So, kapag sinod natin yung Roots nito, at yung lalabas, negative 2 is negative 4. Ipoprove lang natin na tama, ba, tama yung ating sum tapos yung product. So, ang naging roots nito ay negative 2 is negative 4. Kapag pinag plus ba, negative 6? Yes. Negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Kapag pinag multiply ba, 8? Yes. So, therefore, tama yung sum and product natin. Hindi tayo dumaan sa gantong kahabang process, pero nakuha natin through the coefficients na meron si quadratic equation. So, ganun po ang kagandahan nung formula na na-derive natin. Yung sum and sa product. Ayan. Sige, let's have another example. What is the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation? 3x squared minus 27 is equal to 0. So, again, so gawin natin yung shortcut. Right? First, this given quadratic equation. Tapos, since... Dalawang terms pala ang nasa left. Gawin natin siyang uh, tatlo. Yung form mismo ng standard form para mas marinaw ang pagkuha ng A, B, and C. 
Now again, kung master mo na yung pagkuha ng A, B, and C, pwede mo nang hindi gawin yung second step na ito. But for those beginners, do this para mas malinaw sa inyo na pagsasolve. So get the coefficients A, B, and C because we will be needing this in solving the sum and the product. Ayan, ang A natin ay tabi na x squared, so that's 3. Ang B ay 0. Ang C ay negative 27. Take note of the sign, negative 27. And after that, solution tayo, write the formula ng sum and product, then substitute natin dito. So, si B ay 0. So, magiging ganito siya. Negative 0 over 3. Ayan, 3 ang A natin. So, any number na, or any fraction na 0 ang numerator, ang sagot dyan ay 0. So, 0 ito. So, wala yung sign. Kasi yung 0 ay walang sign na number. Neutral siya. Hindi siya positive, hindi rin siya negative. So, okay na yan. Sum is equal to 0. Product natin is equal to C over A. So, substitute natin yung C sa kayong A. By doing that, at yung lalabas. So, C ay negative 27, correct? 3 naman yung A, correct din. Tapos, divide mo na lang. Negative 27 divided 3 is negative 9. And that is now the product. Ayan. So, mas mabilis ang process natin. Unlike, kung isasolve mo pa dito, isasolve pa yung roots, tapos sa kama ipa-plus, saka i-multiply. So, ito na ngayon ang final answer. Now, if you want to check, you may do that. Ayan. Gawin mo yung long process. Tapos, check mo kung tama ba yung sum natin, tapos yung product. Ayan. Alright. Sige, isa pa. Let's have another example. What is the sum in the product of the roots of quadratic equation 7x squared plus 5x is equal to 0? So, same process. Isulat mo yung quadratic equation. So, kung dadalawa pa lang yan o kaya isa, gawin mo yung tatlo, yung nasa left. Gawin mo siyang in terms of the standard form. So, 7x squared plus 5x plus 0 is equal to 0 para kita mo agad yung a, b, and c na values. Ayan. So, si a ay 7, si b ay 5, si c ay 0. Ayan. Then, let's go to the, our solution. So, write first the formula. Sum is equal to negative b over a. Product is equal to c over a. Then, substitute for the sum, b sa ka a. Then, take note yung minus doon. So, 5 ang b, correct. 7 ang a, correct tayo doon. So, eto, kahit hindi mo na siya gawing decimal. Okay na yan. Hindi na kasi ito kayang i-lowest term pa or i-divide. So, okay na yan. This is now the final answer ng sum natin. Sa product naman, so, ang product dito, of course, kunin mo yung C. C ay 0. Tapos, ang A natin ay 7. So, ganito ang magiging itsura. 0 over 7. Any fraction na 0 ang numerator, automatic 0 ang sagot. So, ang product niyan ay 0. And that is now the final answer. Ito na po. Ganun lang kadali ang pagguha ng sum and yung product. Now, if you are ready, let's have our humor drill. Ayan. So, here I'll give you one item to answer. Find the sum and the product of roots of quadratic equation 9x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let us now answer this. Ayan. So, ito yung given. So, same process tayo. Isulat natin yung quadratic equation. 9x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then, kunin natin yung coefficients na ABC. Ang A ay 9. Ang B ay 6. Ang C ay negative 2. Don't forget the sign. And after that, solution tayo. Solution, write the formula kailangan sa ulo. Sum is equal to negative b over a, plus product is equal to c over a. Ayan. Then, substitute na lang natin for the sum. So, ang b magiging 6, ang a magiging 9. So, ito yan. Negative 6 over 9. So, hindi na rin siya pwedeng i-divide, pero pwede siyang i-lowest term. Bakit? May GCF yung 6 sa yung 9. Diba? Pwede siyang i-divide pareho sa 3. So, do that. Kung kaya pa siyang i-lowest term, i-lowest term mo siya. Lowest term natin. 
So, divide both by 3 para makuha yung lowest term. Para yung negative kasama pa rin. Yeah, so, the answer will be negative 2 thirds. Bakit? 6 divided 3 ay 2. 9 divided 3 ay 3. So, eto na ngayon ang final answer ng sum. Let's have the product. So, sa product, substitute natin. So, yung C ay negative 2. Correct naman. Tapos, ang A ay 9. So, correct. Tama tayo na pagkakasubstitute. Now, pwede ba siyang i-divide? Hindi na. Pero pwede ba siyang i-lowest term? Hindi na rin. So, kung hindi na, yun na yung final answer. Ayan. So, these are the sum and products of the rules. As simple as that. Now, dito pala sa product, pwede mong igit na yung negative para mas maganda siyang tignan or para mas maayos. Uh, tatanggalin mo siya sa numerator. Gagawin mo siya sa, ilalagay mo siya sa gitna. Yan. Ayan. So, this is now the final answer. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something today. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to for to forget. <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. And please do share this to your friends as well to the parents who needs this lesson the most. And don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag, you more PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.